On one photo raw, 2023 was released this week. This is a huge release with a ton of new AI tools and improvements to already existing AI tools like Sky Swap AI. Hey there, I'm Tom Cheswick and I'm a portrait photographer and mostly photograph business professionals, high school seniors and dancers. But enough about me, let's talk about On One Photo Raw 2023. I was fortunate enough to get a pre-released copy of this fantastic photo editor and I've been using it all week. So in this quick tutorial, I'm going to show a newly improved feature Sky Swap AI. It is just amazing. So stay with me and I'm going to show you how to use Sky Swap AI, how you can even batch images to save a ton of time. And as a bonus, stay with me to the end and I'll show you an old school method that still works even while using the free new OcuDrone Skies. When I used to shoot weddings, one of the toughest things was white skies. If you expose for the couple in shade, a lot of times your skies would go white. Even with modern day cameras, you still face that same image. So while these images were taken several years ago, you're still going to have the same issue today. And it doesn't have to be weddings, any type of portraits or um, even landscapes. If you're trying to get detail in the foreground, you're going to have issues in the background. But this is where the sky swap is amazing. Let's take an image. I'm going to take it into the edit module by double clicking on it. And let's just see how easy it is to swap a sky. Just click on sky. The image is going to load. Now you can pick whatever skies you want. There's different uh, categories of skies to make it very easy to find them. One of the new sections in 2023 is the OcuDrone ones. And there are some really amazing skies in here. Let's take a look at some of those. Let's just go up to blue velvet and right away that looks pretty nice, but even inside the folders, there's quite a few different skies. So you can just hover over and look how it instantly drops in the sky so you can decide which one is best for your image. So that's looking really nice just like that. I'll hit OK. Sky is replaced. We'll click on done. And that's how easy it is to swap out a sky. Now look how quick this is. We can press down the command or control key, click on several images from the same setting, and then just come down to sync. The effects we're going to do, since we only adjusted the sky in these images, we'll just leave that how it is, hit apply. And bam, it starts adding the sky to every image there. That is just amazing. Okay, so one pro tip, you can always go back into an image. And let's say we didn't like the sky. Again, just go back into edit. Go back to the sky. And select any sky that you'd like. Again, just hovering over it will bring down the sky. So that looks awesome too. Another nice feature about this is you can always change the opacity and just take it down a bit as well. So it uh, blends real nice with the foreground. You can have it light the foreground. Normally, it depends on this. With this, I prefer not having it uh, affect the foreground, but that looks awesome. So we learned how to use the new Sky Swap AI tool in On One Photo Raw 2023. We also learned how you can batch process images with it by adding it to one sky. 
simply selecting all the other skies you'd like, hit that sync button, and they're all going to swap over. That is just amazing. That saves a ton of time. Thanks so much for staying to the very end. As promised, here's your pro tip. No matter how good the program is, there's always going to be a couple images that wreaks havoc on the AI. And this one I've tested out on Luminar Neo in Photoshop and here today in On One. And it just um, causes issues with the sky swap. And let me show you. So we're going to, uh, same thing. We'll just reset it to make sure it's back to the original state. Go into edit. All right, we're going into sky. And this image obviously was taken at sunset. We'll select sunset right off the bat it is very dramatic if I was just using this for social media I would call it done but where is the issue it's on the really fine detail if we look at before and after we see a lot of that grass and bush is uh, not masked as well as we might like it you'll really notice it in this section here okay now in this new feature of SkySwap AI, On1 has um, created some new tools to help with that. And that's down in the foreground lighting section. And by adjusting the foreground or the edges, sometimes that will now bring back that detail. And it does help a little bit but not as good as my pro tip. So how to use the pro tip? Let's get back to the image. Let's reset, go into layers, add a layer, go into extras and go into the on one extras folder. And now you have access to all of on one's assets. Let's go into the skies folder and look at this. We even have the Ocudrone skies that we can use as a layer. I'm just going to scroll down to uh, the sunset folder, double click on it. And here is the sunset that we used just a moment ago. I'm using these. Um, scroll wheel mouse to zoom in and out. That's just the shortcut feature for me. We'll hit transform and we're going to stretch this out. All right. And then you can play with the blend mode and select what you like. Multiply works great. Overlay works great. Soft light works great. Let's go with multiply. You can then go into develop and if you want to brighten up the sky, just go to exposure and bring it up a little bit. Now, if you were working with a sky that was raw, you'd have a lot more ability to get it as bright or dark as you want. You kind of have to make smaller changes or adjustments when you're using a JPEG. If you go too far, it's just going to blow out and not really have anything. Um, if it's brightened too much because of the multiply blend mode that we're on. So that looks awesome. Be sure to write in the comments about your favorite new features of On One Photo Raw. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching this training video. To help me continue producing videos, please like and subscribe. It helps so much. Also, be sure to leave a comment about any topic you'd like covered in future videos. Be sure to use the link below for a 14 day trial of On One Photo Raw. That does help me. And also be sure to use my discount code to save 20% off of anything in the On One store. That's listed below as well, Tom Cheswick 20. Thank you and enjoy the rest of your day.